Hello, Dr. J here. Now I'm going to help you try to determine the values of a combination of capacitors, whether they're connected in series, parallel, or in combination. So here we have a single capacitor, and as a wave review, Q, which is the charge, is equal to CV. Solve for C, and we have V divided by Q, where V is the voltage, and Q is the amount of charge and C is the capacitance measured in units of farads. Now let's go take a look at a combination of capacitors where we here we have two capacitors C1 and C2 connected in series. Uh, each has a value of 0.1 picofarads and the total capacitance as shown here reads 0.05 picofarads or 0.5 times 10 to the minus 13th farads. Now the formula for this is 1 over CT which is the total capacitance. 1 over CT denotes the total capacitance is equal to 1 over C1 plus 1 over C2. Substituting the values shown here we have 1 over 0.1 picofarads plus 1 over 0.1 picofarads which yields 2 e to the 13th. Now taking the reciprocal of this, it yields a total capacitance of 0.05 picofarads. Now let's look at three capacitors shown here. Again, they have the same value of 0.1 picofarads, or 1 times 10 to the minus 13th farads. Using the same and similar formula, we just extend the previous formula, 1 over CT, and just add another term of 1 over C3. Substituting the values one more time, we get 1 over CT equals 3e to the 13th. Taking the reciprocal one more time, we have CT equals to 0.033 picofarads, which is the same result showing the total capacitance on this diagram. Now we can extend this formula to 1 over CT is equal to 1 over C1 plus 1 over C2 dot 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 plus 1 over CN, for where N is the number of capacitors in series. So let's take a look at two capacitors connected in parallel. Here we have C1 and C2 connected in parallel, each having a value of 1 times 10 to the minus 13 farad or 0.1 picofarads or puffs. When we have a total capacitance, we see it's 2 times 10 to the minus 13 farads. So Basically, the formula is pretty simple. We just add those two capacitance values. Now let's take a look at three capacitors connected in parallel. And as expected, you should see the sum of those three values, each again with 1 times 10 to the minus 13 farads. And hence this leads to 3 times 10 to the minus 13 farads or 0.3 puffs. So when you have more than three capacitors, here's the generic formula where n is the number of capacitors.